Unit Four, Page Thirty Six, Part Ten, Reading, From Hamburg to Hamburgers. People think that hamburgers were invented in the United States, but that is not totally true. These round, flat cakes or patties made of ground beef actually came from Germany in the middle of the 19th century. They were brought to the United States by German immigrants who came from the city of Hamburg. That is why their name was hamburger steak. But what happened next isn't clear. The most popular story is that the hamburger was first put between two pieces of bread at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. However, people in other places claim that they invented the hamburger. Perhaps we'll never have a clear answer, but there's no question that the hamburger was a hit. Why? Perhaps because at that time industry was growing, and a kind of fast, practical, and cheap food was needed for workers. Or perhaps it was just because hamburgers tasted good. The hamburger became even more popular in the 1920s when the first chain of fast food restaurants was started. This chain was called White Castle. It served tiny hamburgers that were sold for the low price of five cents. A trend of the 1930s was the drive-in restaurant. Customers were served in their cars by waiters in uniform, and one of the most popular menu items was the hamburger. By now, the hamburger was ready to conquer the world, and this happened with McDonald's. Which was actually a hot dog stand at first, but the hot dog was replaced by the hamburger by the early 1950s. At McDonald's, people were served quickly inside the restaurant. The drive-in concept changed too. The waiters disappeared. People ordered from their cars, received their food quickly, and drove away. McDonald's and other fast food restaurants sprang up around the world throughout the rest of the 20th century. Fast food restaurants that sell hamburgers can be found in Austria or Australia, Jamaica or Japan. McDonald's alone has sold 12 hamburgers for every person in the world. The importance of the hamburger to U.S. culture remains significant. About 60 percent of all sandwiches that are eaten are hamburgers, according to some sources. 7 percent of current workers in the United States had their first job at McDonald's. But the face of the hamburger is changing according to the times. Nowadays, it is possible to buy a chicken burger, a turkey burger, a fish burger, or a veggie burger. End of Unit Four.